So I need a wrist rest um, because I'm old and I don't have one and I need one. <laughs> so I'm going to make one. Um, and what I'm going to use is my Let's Resin Flex Rubber. Now this, we all know, or if you don't know, ta-da, uh, is to make squishies. Really squishies. Squishy things. Very squishy. Incredibly squishy things that are awesome and you can play with them and they're very soft. But I'm going to make something functional out of this. So it's one-to-one. -one, super soft. Bubble free. Super elastic. One to one. And uh, both of the bottles weigh the same. It says by weight. Yes. Uh, both of the bottles weigh the same. Um, so we're. And I have tested this theory. Uh, I do know that it else is also um, by volume uh, because the weight is the same. So I'm pouring 50 mil. 50, five, zero, mil, that was B, and this is A. So we will have a total of 100. <laughs> so, anyway, I have got a disposable, if I want to, uh, stick. This is just a... Uh, stirring stick that most people get when they get uh, any resin uh, delivered to them. Normally the lovely manufacturers will include some in the box, uh, but anything will do. Silicone stirrer. I mean, you can use one of these doodahs. You can use one of these doodahs. You can use a spoon, you know, Whatever you'd like to use, stir it up. Uh, manufacturer recommended stir time is three to four minutes. Uh, but I do also want to say something uh, while I'm stirring, so that's why I'm not fast forwarding it. I'm going to be adding some stuff to this because if I'm going to make it, I might as well make it cool, you know, make it nifty and pretty. You know, heck, why not? So, what I'm going to add is some of my Larissi Silver Holographic Glitter. That's right. And I'm just going to add it straight to the silicone. And we are going to have... A glittery wrist rest, right? Now, if you know this uh, flex rubber stuff, let me get my um, my stunt squishy here real quick so you can see. And if you've watched my channel before, you remember this dude. But you know that this stuff is super super squishy, so when you press down on it, it squishes. So I don't need a big, huge amount. Oh, let's just leave that guy right over there. Um, I haven't named him yet. I guess I need to name him. Anyway, um, you know that even if you make something pretty short, when you put any pressure on it, it's going to squish itself down. So that is why I'm just going to cast this in here. I'm not gonna put anything. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pour it into anything. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I'm just gonna let it um, cure in this shape uh, because it's like the perfect shape that I need because my wrists aren't that wide. Um, so when it squishes down, it'll squish beautifully. Uh, so you can see, looks like a liquid disco ball. Very awesome. I love it. Actually, I think I might want to add a little bit more 
one, but I'm not going to. I'm going to err on the side of restraint here. Um, am I? <laughs> am I going to restrain myself? I don't know. I can't decide. Yes. Yes. Yes, I will. Do you want? No. No, I'm not. So I'm going to reach into the bag of sparkly shit and I'm going to add, yeah. I'm going to add some, uh, just a tiny bit of silver holographic chunky blend so because you know, hey this, this is for me if you want to add something else if you're making yourself one up you're like oh hey functional squishies awesome I think I want to make one too. Do it. Do it. Love it. Send me a picture. Um, because uh, you add whatever you want. Make it yours. This is going to be mine. Therefore, I make it a liquid disco ball. Woohoo! And then it will be a squishy disco ball. He is mine. And I shall call him Squishy. And he will be my Squishy. So now that we've got that mixed all the way, I'm just going to set it to the side and let that do its thing. Now, for the fun part, I have another idea. I'm going to make something non-functional and completely fun and silly. And for that, I'm going to use this paper cup because I'm going to mix up a little bit more of our squishy sauce. Mm. There we go. And this one I can just eyeball because I can see through the side of the cup. So I can get a good idea of how much I need to pour. Yay! And unfortunately, I am now almost out of my flex rubber. That's resin. Help. Help. I need more flex rubber. I'm not sponsored by Let's Resin, by the way. I doubt that they even know that I exist, other than the fact that I'm on their customer list. But, at any rate, I'm going to mix this up. And we're going to add something else. Again, why? Because we can. So this time I'm adding pink holographic light. Oh no! No, actually not. The lion! I'm going to add my purple rain mix. That's right, purple rain. doesn't love a bit of prints. And if you don't, you're missing out. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. And this is just a mix I made of holographic purple, you know, regular purple, dark purple, light purple, pinky purple, opalescent purple, all the purples. Some purple. Alright. And what we're going to be using this in is this. Let me flip it over. See those little cuties? Oh, I love them so much. There's a pig, a cat, a penguin, and a bear. So we're going to be making teeny tiny squishy things because it's fun and it's Sunday and I need some positive mental health projects right now. All right. 
This stuff has a working time of about 30 to 40 minutes before it starts going real. Really, oh lord, I can't pour it. Oop, hang on, I see an invader. Invader! Encroacher! There we go, now we're cooking. Alright, so I'm just going to start filling up. Mm. Our tiny squeezes. Alright, so this little guy doesn't have quite enough in him. So what I think I'm going to do is rob Peter to pay Paul here. So let me grab my silicone spoon. And I'm going to take some of my silver uh, squishy sauce and just fill them the rest of the way up. So this little guy will be special. It'll be different. Different is good. Baby wipe. Ta da. And that way, now I can go through, clean up a mess. Uh, now we can get our mess cleaned up, and we can get some of the bubbles out of this. These little guys do have ears, so I want to go in and make sure that we attend to their little... ...eerie areas. This guy, I'm going to stir him up a little bit since he's a beautiful... Beautiful blend. So we love our beautiful blended babies. Okay. Get that guy. And this is, I believe, the pet. No, is this the pig? No, this is the pig. So Mr. Pig doesn't really. Oops. No, that's the penguin. Penguin doesn't really have ears, so he's good. So yeah, we're going to let these cure. Normally takes about three, four hours or so. I don't know how long it's going to take, but generally speaking, that's how long it takes. So I will see you guys when it's time to demold. See you then. Hello, welcome back. Look. Sticky. I know. I know. It's fun. And I'm a child. So, let's get this out. Now, even though it looks super sticky and you're like, holy cow, there's no way that's done, it's done. Trust me. So, just gently going around. And it just goes, bloop. Left some glitter behind, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Sticky. So, this is just a piece of paper that I've put on my silicone mat. And the reason I've done that is because one, it'll take away some of the sticky. And we all know that silicone sticks to silicone. Uh, so if I was to put this straight on my mat, it would just be a sticky, awful stickiness. I mean, would it come off? Yeah, absolutely it would. But, you know. <laughs> Jello. I 
love it. Anyway, okay, let's get these guys up. Now with these guys, I want to be a little careful because of their little ears and uh, little hands and whatnot. So, look at this. Blech. Oh, God. I know the noises. I need to stop. But like I said, it's fun. And I'm a child. So gentle, gentle, gentle. Gentle, gentle. Doop. Came straight out. It's a piggy. Look at him. Oh, he's just so awesome. I love these things. I'm sorry, but these are just so much fun. Okay. Oh. So sticky. Oh, no, this is the piggy. What are... This was the cat. That's the pig. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next in our little squishy menagerie is the penguin. You guys can't see what I'm doing. Sorry. Your little penguin. I know it's kind of hard to see what they are with the glitter in it and everything, but it's more just, you know, silly stuff. Here's the bear. Here's the bear. And their little ears are there, and they've got little eyes, and their little faces. They're just so sticky and cute. I love them so much! Um, Alright, so next thing that I'm going to do is get some flock. So, with the kit that you get from Let's Resin, in the kit comes this nifty little box. The flock box. Has a lid on it. And what you do is you put the flock, however much you want to use, in the box, right? And you put your actually I spread it out a little bit in there. Put your moist product <laughs> in there. There we go. Put the lid on the box. Then you can shake it around. And it hokey pokies inside the box until it's all covered. And then you can either let go of the box so the top comes off, or you can <laughs> stop and take the top off. You know, whichever you prefer. Me, I like to live dangerously. And then it covers your project in flock. And look, no more sticky. Now all flock is is felt. Um, it's just really finely ground up felt. So what I can do is roll it around, sort of get that flock embedded, if you will. Give it a nice, good squishing in and then I have my wrist rest. See what I mean? How it just have, it squishes and I have a nice squishy wrist rest that isn't sticking to anything and of course if you want to you can add more flock to the box and cover it up more. There's still a little bit left in there so if I want to just put it in there and Keep shaking it around until you, you know, you're sufficiently flocked. It never gets old, people. So there we go. So there's my wrist rest. Now for our buddies over here, I'm going to stick with the white because the white isn't very trans... It's very... It's more transparent than the other colors that you were sent. Uh, it comes with pink, blue, purple, I think, and black, and white. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the white because, you know, I don't want it super dark. I want to still be able to see some of the glitter and color and whatnot in there. So 
Oh, the squishy bits. Set those in there. And see another reason why I put the, the paper down <laughs> on my mat is because silicone is still moist, if you will. And the moist bits of the silicone will stick to the other silicone. And then you have moist bits on your silicone mat, and I really don't want that. So I'm going to add a little bit more of my powder. And I normally use my finger because I just don't want to dump it in there. I mean, you can because the good part about having it in the box is when you're done, you can always just check the box, what's left in the box, back in the bag, and you're good. Me, I'd rather just put it in there sparingly. That way I know I'm not putting too much in. We're on. It's like dice. It's like squishy dice. See, I did it again. Ha! Insert Britney Spears reference here. So here is our penguin. You can see him a little bit better now that he's got some stuff on him. That's awesome. Here is our little cat. Meow. Here is our little bear. Right ho. And here is our little pig. So there we go. So I'm gonna put my flock in a box. Stick that off to the side. Oh, got a mold to clean out later. So now I can take this off. Nothing is sticking. I can reuse my paper later. And here we have them. Our little sticky friends. Little cuteness. In squishy form. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're just so cute. Oh my goodness gracious. I know. I know. You've seen a hundred people make squishies, and each time everybody sits here, and it's just so, it's so tactile. It's just so fun and soothing and silly and awesome and everything. So, there they are. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you again on the next one. Take care, guys. Cheers.